You guys have asked forever and ever and ever for saddle reviews. I'm here to do it. What's up, Flomies? I hope you're having an amazing day. I am just getting my day started and I kind of got inundated with messages from everybody on my Insta story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here it is about how I do my get ready routine in seven minutes. So um, one of my really close Flomies messaged me and said, you got to do it. So I did it. Here is a quick look at how I get my day started, how I get ready in the morning. Yeah, go. trying to get um, a repairman to come to the house. So I'm gonna be doing my workout from home right now with my workout bands from mansports.com. I'll take you guys through that right now. Workout is done. I'm still a little out of breath. Um, it's time for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. I think that one of the things that I run into the most when I see people want to ask me questions about starting a business or getting better, turning pro with their horse industry, any of those things. Um, today has all been about time. And I didn't mean for that to be the theme of today, but basically how the hell can you make the most of your time on this planet? How can you make the most out of 24 hours when you are a super busy, person that's either wanting to do things at your work, at school, in your own business, or on your horses. So obviously you can see that I put a time restraint on every single thing that I do. Um, I'm not just trying to be the fastest barrel racer, I'm trying to be the fastest person to get ready, I'm trying to be in the 1D of everything. I'm trying to be the fastest to get ready in the morning, the fastest to get my emails done, the fastest to reply to things, um, I'm trying to be the fastest. So. I want um, you guys to try to implement that in your life and there's a ton of books on time management and getting stuff done in the priority that you need to. My favorite, I've talked about 9,000 times, is The One Thing, you can see that here. Um, it is an excellent book on time management. I am actually trying to start a, tr a podcast, I'm not going to try, I'm going to start a podcast. And I'm gonna try to film my first episode right here, right now, just so you guys have some motivation while you're on the treadmill, while you're working out, while you're riding your horses. So I'm going to do that right now. Make the most of your time. The, uh, the old guy that's supposed to be here to help me for the repairs is supposed to be here, like he was supposed to be here like two hours ago. So I've got 30 more minutes until I have to leave for the ranch. And I'm gonna make the most out of that 30 minutes and I'm gonna record my very first podcast. So what can you do today? Make me a list, write it in the comments below. What is it that you can do to make the most out of your time? Because that is our most valuable resource that we have the least amount of. That's your homework and that's it for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. 
right, I'm all changed and ready to go to the ranch. I am rocking horse gear to keep me out of the sun. I'm gonna be filming all new stuff for BRC, but of course I'm gonna give you guys a preview and have some fun with the squad. Let's get on some horses. What up? Okay, you guys have asked forever and ever and ever for saddle reviews. I'm here to do it. Um, this is one that I get asked about a lot, and that is my 11 pound Brazilian saddle. I'll tell you guys a few things that I love and hate about everything that I ride because nothing's perfect, okay? While I love that it weighs 11 to 12 pounds, I dislike the fact that you do have to be on your A-game. You cannot be in a mediocre mood to ride that day because the fender weight is so light that your legs are gonna catch a lot of motion. So you've gotta feel really centered and balanced that day if you're gonna go ride because otherwise you may find yourself dashboarded or in a super, super bad position. It's not a good look when you're like, this, I've been like that. I got that action shot. <laughs> Real awkward. P.S. I am here with C Money, uh, Tad F. Airy, Stormy's at the trailer. So, and Lolo, and Shady. So the big news is Shady is actually going to be our auction horse for this week. Are you mad or not? I'm not mad. I am happy for the next person. Could you give me a thumbnail though for it? Like, I sold Cody's horse. She hates me now. Hit me with that hot fire. <laughs> Ah, there you go. <laughs> you, you saw it here first. Okay, so with this saddle, another thing that I love, love, love is the fact that this riggin runs all the way through the tree. So it's not a separate D-ring on each, each side, which just gives me the feeling that it's a little bit more centered when I cinch my saddle up. Um, also, P.S., this is my FT Troxel helmet. You guys can use code Fallon at checkout. They're gonna give you free shipping and I believe a discount. So check that out too. Things I don't like, it's ugly. This is an ugly saddle, this is not cute, okay? This is not a cute saddle, I already know that. You don't have to holler at your girl, I know it's ugly. No, it is not the same as those like, uh, what, farm something saddles, that like Wintech? Farm it's not, tech? Farm tech I think are timers. Wintech I think is the saddle. Oh. Wintech makes a saddle similar to this. It does not have that same high quality tree. So I think that this saddle runs between like 1,700 and 2,000 bucks. It is not a pretty saddle. I do love how deep and high the back is. That's something that's really great, and it does fit like everything, which is really bizarre because you would look at it and think it's not gonna fit or it's gonna roll. It's my best fitting saddle ever. So I do love that. I like that the saddle horn doesn't have anything I can pick off of their rawhide saddle horns I tend to pick. So anyway, this is probably my go-to number one saddle for baby float in a pro rodeo run. This little um, pad I got from Toklet, Toklet, Toklot, Tok, you, T-O-K-L-A-T. And this is intended for English. So this is just a half inch and it's got the little suede wear leathers. But I love this pad. I think it fits it great. It's great. I would even cut it a little bit more, but I'm not trying to mess up all my stuff. Let me show you the other saddle that I love so much. This is on Lolo. This is my NFR qualification saddle from 2013. This is a an original sports saddle. It's a little small, so this is size 14. I'm a size 14 and a half. I've ordered another brand of sports saddle. So just like the tie-dye fairies in a 14 and a half that's coming. But in the meantime, I pulled this out of my trophy room to do all the stuff and things because it is le Leopard. And we all know that Leopard is a neutral. So it <laughs> goes with everything. I got my um, classic equine saddle pad under here. I like this and the problem that me and Jesse found with saddle fit with the sports saddle, because she rides one too, is the freaking saddle pads. Like, we literally could not yeah. find one that went under it. She rides a five star, I ride this classic, and I really, really love it. I do find that with this brand of sports saddle, it's got a little pinchy thing with these here. It's not terrible, um, but it is something to think about. And then, I've only ridden it like five times, and it's kind of like sitting way up here and hasn't really like conformed to my horse's saddle with the other brand of saddle that we have did kind of the same thing so I don't know if that's just a treeless thing I've ridden in treeless for years things I love these are lightweight also they fit a lot of different horses they are a saddle that will roll if you don't have the right cinch the right saddle pad and the right tightness of your cinch so that is a downfall of these saddles the good news is you're always gonna feel super, super comfy in them, and they're lightweight to lift up and put on and off colts. Lolo is a really hard saddle fit. Everything rolls on her, um, but I do really like this saddle on her. I've got the right pad that I feel like works really well, and I'm gonna cinch her up really tight. One really a con about sports saddles is if you're a person that likes to lift your leg or do a lot of kicking and catch a lot of air, um, you are gonna have a hard time with that. You do feel a little bit restricted right here, like you're not able to move that, which I like for myself because I tend to be overly aggressive and it makes me 
sit right here a little bit closer to my horse. So those are my two saddles that I'm loving right now. Um, I have one more saddle to look over with you guys. So I keep a lot of treeless in the trailer. We've got a lot of them. One, because I injured my shoulder a month, a month or so ago, so I'm liking lifting up really light saddles. And two is because they are so comfy. So like lower back pain, knee pain, they just seem to be a little bit better. Now Stormy likes the complete opposite of what we like. And she is riding in my 2013 NFR qualification saddle also. And this is a Dusty Barrett. Um, this was a trophy saddle that we pulled out of the trophy room. And I have to tell you, this is like one of the best saddles I've ever, ever owned. So complete opposite of the sports saddle. This is a slick seat. This is not intended um, to make you feel super comfy. And um, it's very heavy. So those are the only drawbacks of the saddle. However, this is like our favorite saddle in the barn. The saddle horn's really perfect. The swells sit perfect. Um, Dusty Barrett handcrafts everything and he comes from a cow horse perspective. So I just feel like these are built a lot different and I love them. Um, as you can see, this rigging is very similar to my Brazilian saddle. So it runs through the tree with the D-rings on each side. We took the back cinch off because that's just how we do it. If you do it different, God bless you. Um, but also Dusty makes fenders that go up stormy size and take down to my size. So it's two very extremes. Um, but these went up to basically Stormy rides a youth saddle. So does um, C-Money has that youth stirrup length. And then I have a long stirrup length. So it was able to fit both of us. The only drawback about this saddle is the weight. Otherwise, I would be riding in the saddle every single day on every single horse. I love this saddle. Okay, let's get to riding. See, one inch all the way around. One inch. Yeah. See, one inch. See it. Yeah. Give me five inches. Five. I just want to make her brain hole work, you know? Because when you're running 35 miles an hour and your brain hole shuts off and you think, wait, I can see five inches right now. And you can like slow down and think about it. Five inches all the way around. She's actually nailing it too, is the thing. Oh, yeah. It's actually five inches. Five inches, all the way. Okay, go just a tick faster. Give me three inches. Three inches. Yep. Snap. Okay, go a little bit faster. Give me two feet. This was a fun day. Like we rode so many horses so fast mm -hmm. and now we're going to an escape room after this that has like 40 percent odds yeah two feet nice okay cruise through pretty fast give me three inches and be done yeah look all the way around don't miss it all the way around <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is when training goes good. That's a Monday. That's good. That's just a Monday. That's, that's a, just a training that's on a, a Monday. That's a that's casual that's sleigh on a Monday. That was a month sleigh. No. No. Hmm? no. Is it like fetch? It's not a thing. Fetch Don't make month sleigh a thing. Right? Month sleigh? No. Two sleigh? Wind sleigh? So Shady is going to get a new home. We're really excited for that. Maybe you're going to be the new owner. I don't know. But we're going to get Coco on something that is going to go in there and clock her. Super consistent. Now Shady is amazing. She is a lot of ponies. So if you know somebody that wants to go fast on a big, beautiful AQHA registered mare, make sure and let them know that facebook.com forward slash Fallon Taylor store is where they need to go for the auction on Thursday. Bidding will start at just a thousand bucks. So somebody's going to be able to get a steal. P.S. If you haven't gotten your merch yet, make sure to go to shopthemerch.com. Now, I am wearing a uniform that will soon say BRC right here. It's going to be very fancy. It's going to say Barrel Racing College because we're in the middle of reshooting every single course on barrelracingcollege.com. So if you haven't joined yet, make sure to go to fallontaylor.com, click on the BRC icon, and get involved because... We're coaching every single day of the year. There is literally no days off. You can learn every single day. It is escape room time. Alex and I are gonna go do 
our thing inside. Shout out to the 60 day challenge for man sports, the real Kate boss. Shout out to you. I miss getting to meet you at the man sports HQ and I hate that, but here's a little picture of the 60 day challenge winner. Love her. All right, it is time for us to see if the seven of us can get out of this escape room. Apparently there's a 40% chance that we can actually do this. Yeah. Do you guys, chance. they say it's a 60% chance for us to get out of this thing alive. I thought they said 40. They don't know me. 40. Do you think they tried to match colors today? Look at you guys. Are you so toned? I was wearing this all day today. Oh, tones. Tones. Oh, Look at me. Do I match? Tones. Yes, you do match us. Tones. Yeah. Tones. Ooh, we're cute. Okay, we're waiting on three more and then we're headed in to escape. You guys got us hooked when I did the Instagram runs my day. You guys suggested that we do an escape room and I just want to thank you so much. Follow me right here on Instagram because I'm obsessed with escape rooms now. Actually, we're all obsessed with escape rooms. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta escape. We escaped. Of course, we couldn't film anything in the escape rooms because they're very top secret nerd facilities. And we did great, we did super amazing. We all seven went and did the things and the stuff. And it was so fun, like we've gotten really hooked on the escape room. Hey, enough. I'm vlogging here, okay? I'm vlogging here. Also, in other news, um, as you guys know, Chiquita was a ranch dog and Sea Money takes her with her everywhere she goes. But their house dog, Seems like she wants to be a little bit more of a ranch dog. So Annie now is a member of our little family and she's only spending tonight in the house. And then after that, Annie is gonna go with me on the road to rodeos. So welcome Annie to the family. She is Millie and Earl's mommy. So Flynn is just busy barking orders at her literally. She's so cute. Hi. Say hi Annie. Yeah. This is a brood of dogs. We've got a herd of dogs now. But this one will be going to the ranch. Yeah. Hey, Anna, come on. Yeah, this one goes to the ranch. Yeah, that's a nice doggy. That's a nice doggy. All right, I got some wrangling of my herd to do here. So you guys, I hope you had so much fun with us today. We've got so much exciting stuff coming up tomorrow. I'm pumped for C Money to ride her new horse at a jackpot tomorrow. I'll tell you all about that stuff very, very soon. And as soon as I get my buckle in, I'm gonna tell all of you guys about what happened the other day with me running Nephi to the left and why I did that. So until then, good night you guys. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you tomorrow.